Why the hell is coding so hard? Introducing Game Maker Garage from the minds behind Hotel Mario and the CDI Zeldas, a new easy way to make games. What? Okay, all joking aside, this is what Game Maker Garage needs to be successful. Number one. A way to share games online is a must for Game Maker Garage because if there's no way to share your game, then there's no way it's ever going to amount to anything. What's the point of spending so much time working on this if no one's ever going to see it? Do you think games like Mario Maker and Super Smash Bros, Level Creator and Minecraft would be anywhere as big without user-generated content? No. Maps and servers are the main reason people play Minecraft and without the ability to download other people's levels, the game dies in a matter of weeks in terms of Mario Maker. I mean, just look at the 3DS port. So, unless there's a way to share your games online, then this is just going to be something that comes out and then no one thinks about it ever again. But, if there's a way to share your games online, then a lot of people are going to really enjoy this and share games and a big community, an active community, will likely pop up around it. So that's why I think online play is very important. On to the next point. Number two. Very powerful tools and game creation is a must for this game. We've seen a bit of what this can do as its like original form was the Toy Con Garage back in Labo, but they need to add stuff onto that, make it be able to do more things, while keeping it simple enough for really young people and people who aren't very clever to be able to do it. As well as this, the lessons need to be much, much, much more entertaining. Especially more than Super Mario Makers, because by the time you have learned everything, you need to still be awake. You need to still be engaged with this stuff. Because these... This is going to be a hard one for a lot of people. Make it easy, make it simple. But... Number three. Nintendo needs to make the lessons engaging, fun, interactive, and just make them interesting because there's no point telling everyone everything if they've fallen asleep by the first lesson's end. So there's no real point if they're not fun. So allow us to play around with the mechanics that we're being taught and introduced to allow us to just really tinker with new little things that they're giving us to be able to know. Give us that knowledge, but make it fun as we do it. But keep the programming to, like the actual programming to a minimum. Leave that to scratch. Make this simple, fun, enjoyable, because I want to have fun. I don't want to make the next Breath of the Wild, you know? Number four. There needs to be a really big variety of massive songs for you to use in your games. I'm talking platforming to the Wii menu theme. I'm talking flying a spaceship with the Mii Maker theme in the background. And while we're at it, slap in some Zelda, some Mario, hell, even some Kirby. Because we just need some really fun stuff but also don't neglect really atmospheric music and make sure that there's also just a bunch of general music that fits themes and tones like have like sort of a jungle theme number five throw in a load of wacky garbage Nintendo do it throw in some crazy stuff about Super Mario Paint, throw in Nintendo facts, throw in just a bunch of random stuff, give us the ability to play with the letters like you did in the original Mario Maker, give us just a bunch of crazy, wacky, out there stuff to play with, make this game a cult classic, make it something just so wacky that no one else would even think to do it, make this a Nintendo game, don't make it you can program with Nintendo people teaching you how to do it. Make it a game. Because if it's just a coding sandbox, then the community is never going to be as strong. They need to make it fun to actually place stuff around. Give us cursor options. 
And Nintendo seems to know what they're doing with this so far because has you seen the way the robot blushes when you connect nodons to it? There's a bunch of like cool animation, the music is quite fun and jazzy, so I've got my hopes set quite high for Nintendo to achieve this. But how are they gonna go all the way? Who knows? If you like this video guys, subscribe, like, do whatever the hell you want and check out this video up here where I will have a bunch of stuff that I think Splatoon 3 needs because Splatoon 3 is coming out soon and I'm excited.